This is our weekly war update for Monday, January 15th, and yesterday marked 100 days since Israel went to war with Hamas in Gaza, and the IDF gave an update where they said they've taken over most of northern Gaza, around Gaza City, about 60% of the entire Gaza Strip's under Israeli control, but they're still fighting in the center and in the south in Khan Yunus, trying to root out Hamas terrorists, destroy their weapons. One of the big questions now comes uh, is whether Israel is going to move quickly to the northern front to the border with Lebanon to drive Hezbollah back or go to some sort of elections first. But until then, a, a hostage families are really desperate to get their loved ones back. It does seem like the, the hostages, some of them will get medicine soon. That's hopeful news. But the talks for a possible hostage for prisoners, Palestinian prisoner swap is gonna take some more time. The other big story over the past week has been Israel was forced to uh, go defend itself in the International Court of Justice in The Hague by South Africa. And uh, the Israeli legal team did quite well in refuting the accusations uh, that Israel's committing genocide in Gaza uh, and proving that Hamas is really the one with the genocidal agenda against Israel and the Jewish people. It may take a few weeks before the court makes a decision. South Africa is demanding injunctive relief to end the war now. They probably won't get that, but they are also asking the court to allow Gazan civilians who were driven to the south to be able to come back to their homes in northern Gaza, Gaza City, and that would be a disaster for Israel as Hamas terrorists would be able to filter back up to the north and carry out ambushes against Israeli troops. The IDF really needs to hold on to these areas, not let, allow those civilians back in because it's Israel's best leverage to get the hostages back and to negotiate how Gaza is going to be run after this war. Thanks for keeping up with Israel through the ICEJ and please keep Israel in your prayers.